When was the last time you made a goal for yourself, but life got in the way? You fell behind in school, work, a family event came up, you lost motivation, or you just didn't know how to get started in the first place. That's okay, it happens to all of us. And in this video, I wanna show you how to create a swimming routine that you'll actually stick to. And at the end of this video, I'll share a few different swim routines if you wanna swim two times per week, three times per week, or four or more times per week. Ultimately, the best plan is one that you'll stick with. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to actually find and create a swim routine that works for you. Let's get started. Let's start with why you swim. Let me know down below in the comments why you're swimming. And I put a few different options up here on the board. Now these are not the only reasons to swim. There's plenty more and I wanna hear from you in the comments. Maybe you swim for lifetime fitness, to swim faster, to compete. You wanna do a triathlon, an open water race, or you're competing in the pool. Perhaps you're swimming to lose weight. You wanna improve endurance. Maybe you swim for mental clarity and the health benefits that you get in swimming are endless. So let me know why you swim down below in the comments. But figuring out your swimming routine really starts with understanding what your goal is, why you're swimming, and what you're looking to get out of it. Now, if you're like myself and most people, swimming is something that you wanna do for the rest of your life. And that's what we call lifetime fitness. And all of these different goals, whether it's lifetime fitness, swimming to lose weight, compete, all of these are actually available in the My Swim Pro app. So if you're not familiar, the My Swim Pro app available for iPhone and Android is a quick download and that gets you access to a personalized training program based on your specific goal. Because if you go online, if you go to the pool deck and you see a workout written up there, that's great, but it's not designed for you. And the most important element of choosing the right swimming routine is actually having a plan that aligns with your goals. So make sure you check out the My Swim Pro app. And that's actually step number two in choosing a workout plan. You have to start small and you have to be realistic. It's so tempting to try and think, okay, I'm gonna go new year, new me, I'm gonna commit to a new plan, I'm gonna swim every single day for 10 kilometers and I'm gonna be amazing by the end of three months. And that's just not realistic. We're doing this for the long game. So regardless of your goal, start small, be realistic, set a smart goal. It's specific, measurable, achievable, it's attainable, it's realistic and relevant, and it's time bound. So you have a specific thing that you're working towards. And then once you're in the My Swim Pro app, the app actually will recommend a specific workout plan based on your goals, what your skill level is, your availability to train, and we'll talk about all these different things. But really there's four different categories or styles of workouts that you might find yourself in. And again, the MySwim Pro app will recommend each of these to you based on all of your attributes. But a few of these include the workout of the day. This is something that's new, it's fresh every single day. There is a training program built around that where each day the workout is actually different and there's a two week cycle. So whether you swim on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it doesn't matter, you're gonna get variety and you can see prior workout of the days. So that way, if you're not feeling the workout that specific day, you can do something else. But you can guarantee that for you, based on your goal, there's going to be a new workout every single day. Another category are the training plans. And at the end of the video, I have a few different recommendations based on what your goals might be and based on how often you can swim, what those training programs might look like. But a training plan is essentially a series of workouts that build towards a specific goal. So if your plan, if your goal is to improve your endurance, these workouts will progress systematically over time and adapt so that way you can improve your endurance. If you're trying to improve a different stroke or swim all the strokes, you'll get good variety of all the different strokes over the course of that specific training program. Then you have the library of workouts. So there's, you know, millions, of, maybe hundreds of millions of different combinations of sets you can do. Freestyle, backstroke, sprint, endurance, different effort levels, different intervals, different ways that you can swim, different drills, equipment. There's so much variety in swimming and all that is packaged up in different libraries of workouts. All that is available in the My Swim Pro app. And one of my favorite workout styles is something new and that's called a test set. So this is a specific workout that the app is going to recommend to you on a specific interval and you're gonna do the same workout over time and measure your progress over time against that same workout. So just as the name implies, you're going to test yourself and assess your fitness level, whether it's endurance or speed or something else, and then see how you're going. It's something to look forward to and also gives you a lot of structure to that routine. And again, the MySwim Pro app is automatically going to recommend that specific test set 
when it counts for you. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, deciding what time of the day you're gonna swim. All right, so you figured out your goal, why you're swimming. Next up, you choose the plan. Now you need to figure out when you're gonna do it. So if you already have a routine, you know, this is still good to listen up because maybe you wanna mix it up. If you're used to swimming in the morning, maybe you wanna swim in the evening. I sort of define four different areas of the day that you might be able to swim. So I like to call these morning risers, the people who jump in the pool when they're freezing, they just wake up, right? That's before you get your day started. Maybe you have a snack in the morning. Maybe you depend on this morning workout to justify eating something after, or maybe you get like a protein shake or something. That's the morning morning hours. Then you have the midday crowd. These are the people who are going to swim in the middle of the day. Maybe it's before lunch. Maybe it's a later morning swim. I personally fall into this group. I like to wake up. Sometimes I'll do a workout in the morning, but most of the time I get right to work. I get into my routine and then I'll break up my day with a workout and then I'll eat lunch after. It's a great way to do it. That's not the only way. Another time period is the afternoon. So this is maybe a few hours before dinner or right before dinner. And then finally you have the evening crowd. This is post post dinner. You're you're really finishing the day and this is the last thing. There are certainly pros and cons to each of these. You know, I often recommend to people to actually avoid the evening, but I know some people that's the only time that they can swim. And you might ask, well, why would you avoid the evening? That's the only time I can swim. Well, I'll tell you this, the best plan is one that you can stick with. And the easiest time to disregard the swim because life gets in the way is that evening swim. If you get it done in the morning, you have the whole rest of the day ahead and you can just get right into it after your swim. There are pros and cons, but evaluate and figure out what you can do, what works for you. Next up, it's getting the right equipment. So once we know the goal, we figured out our workout plan, and we have decided when we're gonna swim, we need to make sure we have the right gear. Now I have three of our big ones here that you really need to have if you wanna be successful in the pool, and that is your swimsuit, your goggles, and a swim cap. Not all three are required, but I do highly recommend the suit and your pool probably will kick you out if you don't have a swimsuit. So make sure you have the appropriate attire. Next up, and we'll see it in the My Swim Pro workouts, it's actually incorporated is equipment, whether that's fins, paddle, snorkel, pull buoy, kickboard, parachute, anything you want, throw it in there. And those are sort of secondary to the primary, which is your swimsuit and your cap and your goggles. Make sure you have the right equipment. Next up after that, which you can consider just as important, are your accessories. These are things like a smartwatch, like having the Apple Watch or a Garmin. You can put the My Swim Pro workout right there on your wrist, have it coach you through every single workout set by set, as if you had that personal coach, that accountability buddy, which we'll talk about in just a little bit, right there on your wrist, guiding you through every single workout and pushing you. That that you might consider a must have. Once you've got your right swag, you're ready to head over to the next step, and that is putting swimming on your calendar. You heard that right. We all run by calendars. The calendar can run your life. Hopefully you have a little bit more control over your own calendar, and it's so important that you make the time to swim. It's not gonna happen on its own. You're not gonna magically snap your fingers and you're at the pool and you're swimming. So it's so important to put it on your calendar. We all have the same 168 hours of the week. That's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's up to you to make the most out of that time. So you have to prioritize a swim in your routine. Now this includes travel time. It's not like you just decide, okay, now it's time to swim, it's on my calendar. You have to accommodate for the fact that you have to get to the pool. You probably don't have it within a few feet or a few meters of where you're standing right now or sitting watching this video. So make sure you figure out how long it's gonna take you to get to the pool and factor all of this in so you are eliminating all the excuses that you could make to not go and get your workout in. I want you to get an accountability buddy. Now this could be someone that you know growing up and you swim with them or maybe you met someone at the pool. Maybe it's a friend that's it's not even gonna go swimming, but you know that they're working out at the same time as you. You're at the pool, they're running laps around the track, doesn't really matter. Figure out how can you get someone that you guys are working through this together. You're working towards the same goal, a shared goal, and teamwork makes the dream work. So find a local or virtual swim buddy. Maybe you'll go to a master's workout, but I do know one thing that you can do. You can join the My Swim Pro Facebook group. It's the number one digital swimming community in the world. I'm in there, you should be in there. I'm gonna go ahead and populate the screen with some shout outs to our amazing members who are sharing their goals, their progress, whether it's losing weight, competing in, a, in some kind of an event, they are making significant progress and we have an amazing community of tens of thousands of people from all over the world with different goals and different skill levels 
all supporting each other. So even if you don't wanna post on social media, you don't know anyone who swims, no accountability, buddy, no excuses. Let's get you in that group. It's gonna be linked down below in the description and I can't wait to see you in there. Next up, we can do this together. So let's commit to a lifestyle, not a workout plan. I know I talked about setting your goal and figuring out a workout plan in the MySwim Pro app, but at the end of the day, this is all about figuring out a lifestyle that you can stick to for the long run. So regardless of your age, whether you're 15 years old, 55 years old, or 85 years old, 95, doesn't matter. Whatever your game plan is, let's try and build a routine around this that we can stick with forever. And of course, we're gonna have to adapt. Things are gonna come up. We're gonna have to make changes. We're gonna have to make modifications. I'm a human too. I've made changes in my routine on the regular and there's nothing wrong with that. We grow and as we change and as the times change, we must adapt. But the idea is that we are making an entire lifestyle around this. Not that swimming is the center of our lifestyle, but it is incorporated and we take a holistic approach to how we can do that. So it's really important that we commit to that lifestyle. And of course you can join me and the entire My Swim Pro gang in the My Swim Pro app. So if you wanna get started with My Swim Pro Coach, make sure you check that out. Now finally, I wanna talk about three different routines, whether you swim two times a week, three times a week, or four or five or more times per week. So let's say you swim two times per week. I think that's a fantastic way to get your body acclimated with the water, develop a feel of the water. And if you're swimming two times per week, of course you can use the workout of the day. That applies for all of these different paths. But two plans that I really like for two times a week are the beginner freestyle plan. That's eight workouts. So it'll take you about four weeks if you do two workouts per week. Then you have the couch to 1K, which is 18 workouts. And they'll take you about nine weeks. As the name implies, it is literally a couch to 1K. Starts out pretty small, gradually builds up. Now, of course, you could do these plans in less time if you swim more frequently, but if you are gonna swim three times per week, there are two plans that I definitely recommend you check out. One is the improve endurance, and then the other is the enhanced speed. Both of these training plans are 24 workouts, so if you do three per week, that'll take you eight weeks to complete. Of course, you can take less or more time depending on how often you swim. And finally, if you're gonna swim four, five, six times per week, definitely recommend you check out the technique boot camp. We actually have two of those. This one is 16 workouts. That'll take you about a month to complete. And then the intro to IM, which is 22 workouts. Now, all of these workouts can incorporate dry land. So if you're doing more than just swimming, if you want to work out every day, you don't have another routine, I definitely recommend incorporating that dry land, which is all available in the My Swim Pro app. Whether you swim two, three, or four or more times per week, the workout of the day is always an option. So make sure you check out all of that down below in the description and check out the My Swim Pro app. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know you're gonna love the video I made on how to swim faster in 90 seconds. Check that video out and I'll see you over there. Happy swimming.